Hi guys, I'm Daniel with Team Reef to Reef, and today I'll be doing a video review for Reef Edition Digital Magazine. And I'll be reviewing the Surf 4 Algae Turf Scrubber by Santa Monica Filtration. Before I get into the specific functions and benefits of the Surf 4 and why that particular model has been chosen for this review, let's talk a little bit first about algae turf scrubbers. What is an algae turf scrubber? Why is it beneficial? And why should I consider using one in my aquarium? Well, aquariums are closed systems, which means that as we feed our tank inhabitants, we're adding nutrients to the tank. In a short time, these nutrients build up in such forms as phosphates and nitrates. At high levels, these elements are toxic to our tank inhabitants. Even at low levels, relatively low levels, they can cause nuisance algae to cover rocks and sand and cause the glass to need cleaning more often, uh, sometimes as often as once per day. So we have to have an export strategy in order to deal with these nutrients. In a reef tank like mine, it's very important that nutrients be kept at low levels. Otherwise, they can hurt coral growth and coloration and could ultimately kill my corals, fish, and other reef tank inhabitants. In the aquarium hobby, there are various types of filtration used for exporting nutrients, but none of them are quite so natural and efficient as the algae turf scrubber. Because algae is what filters all the lakes and oceans already, it's perfectly natural that this would be the way that we choose to remove nutrients from our aquarium. An algae scrubber like the Surf 4 is used for reducing nutrients and can keep them at lower values and sometimes even undetectable levels in the home aquarium. The scrubber operates by passing water and air bubbles over the rough white interior of the device under high powered LEDs which create perfect conditions for growing attached hair algae which can then be harvested and removed from the system. And of course, we'll be removing those nutrients that we've been needing to get rid of along with it. One of the things that I love personally about the Surf 4 is that the algae that grows there can also be used as fresh food for the fish and other creatures in my reef. With the Surf 4 in my display, and, uh, or possibly in the sump with a fish, the fish will learn to pull algae out of the holes in the bottom of the Surf 4 so that it actually functions as an auto feeder for the fish in the reef tank. Also, the surf scrubbers from Santa Monica Filtration have a few features that no other algae scrubbers have. First, the enclosed growth compartment increases the dwell time of the water and bubbles inside the unit so that they rub the algae many times before leaving the compartment. This actually reduces nutrients to a level lower than the outside water, which allows greener growth to occur sooner when the nutrients are high in the water. Second, having the air bubble inlets below the growth causes the bubbles to flow through the algae no matter how thick it gets. This is in contrast to waterfall scrubbers, which mostly flow water on the outside of the algae growth, leaving the inner layers of growth without any water flow. Now, Santa Monica Filtration offers multiple different models of algae scrubbers, and at first I wasn't sure how to decide which one I was going to need. They have their surf models, like the one in this video, hog models, which are hang on the glass, and drop bottles, which are drop-in upflow scrubbers, which are extremely useful in tanks where room is difficult to find, uh, like nano tanks. However, they have an excellent rating system based on the amount of nutrients being added to your tank, usually through feeding, but also comes from rocks and other things leaching nutrients into the tank, or even top-off water that hasn't been properly filtered. This is extremely helpful since nutrient removal isn't dependent on the size of your tank, but on the amount of the nutrients being introduced to your system. The folks at Santa Monica Filtration have rated their models in this way so that you can determine what will meet the needs of your system in the best possible way. The Surf 4 is rated for four frozen cubes per day. And if you have problem rocks with algae, each 50 pounds of rock adds one cube to the feeding because the phosphate in the rocks will leach out into the water and be caught up in the growth that takes place inside the scrubber. If you look at the models and still aren't sure which unit is right for your tank, Santa Monica Filtration is really good at helping you determine which scrubber will best meet your needs. So all you need to do would be to shoot them an email. Now we've chosen the Surf 4 for this video because of the needs of my particular reef tank, but it might need that you would need a different model, let's say the Surf 2, uh, which would allow for two cubes fed per day, or the Surf 4X, which allows for even more than four cubes per day. Um, you just need to check the different model types and compare your tank specific needs for nutrient removal. Now, before we move any further, let's take a look and see what we've got inside this box. All right guys, so here we've got the Surf 4 unboxed and we're gonna go over each one of the items that's here on the table to give you an idea of what's, uh, what you're getting with the Surf 4 unit. 
Uh, this, of course, is the main unit, and uh, it's, uh, I don't know if you can tell or not from the video, but it's really well put together, uh, tightly sealed, very compact. Uh, it's uh, relatively small for the amount of filtration you're going to get from the unit, so uh, I'm really excited about uh, the build quality of it. Uh, this, is, of course, is the lid, so I'm going to take this off so you can see uh, what we've got inside here. These are the LEDs that are going to do, be responsible for the algae growth. Uh, you can see the uh, speckled glass there that's going to help to diffuse some of the light from the LEDs uh, so that it's dispersed well rather than uh, spotlighting. It'll be more well dispersed throughout the uh, algae turf scrubber. Now we've got uh, some extra airline tubing here to go from the, uh, the four inlets uh, back to our air pumps. Uh, inside, we've got green grabber material. Uh, rough surfaces are critical for allowing algae to attach and grow and therefore provide strong absorption of nutrients because, hey, if the algae lets go, uh, you lose your filtering. So uh, this is uh, some of the, I don't know if you can see this through the video, but this is some of the roughest material that I've ever touched. And uh, you've got, uh, of course, these great uh, nylon strings here uh, that will allow for you to just reach in and scoop out the algae growth uh, as it gets thick. Um, but uh, the algae should uh, be able to, to attach very well. Uh, white surfaces, the reason this is white, the white surface reflects light better than any other color. So that allows the roots of the algae to stay alive and continue to hold on as the growth gets, growth gets thicker. So basically the light is going to penetrate through the top of the algae, it's going to hit the white reflective material and bounce back and, and allow for health of the algae all the way through the unit. Uh, so uh, promotes greener, better growing algae uh, throughout. So I'm going to turn this over now. Uh, this will show us that uh, we've got, th these are your four air inlets. Uh, of course, these are attached to the air pumps. That's how the air gets into the uh, turf scrubber. Uh, and you've got these holes here on the bottom. This is to allow the water to come back out of the turf scrubber. But also, it's going to allow for the algae to grow out through those holes so it functions like we talked about earlier about the fish being able to come up and, and find the algae growing out of the bottom of the unit and just kind of use it as an auto feeder. So uh, that's helpful for if you've got, especially if you've got uh, tangs and other uh, fish that, that like to feed on, on algae. Um, the Surf 4 has dual power supplies, uh, as you can see here. Uh, each one of these is going to power four LEDs, so you've got a total of eight LEDs. Uh, not only does this provide backup, but it allows you to start the scrubber with less light. Uh, by just turning on one of the uh, power supplies, you would only have four LEDs starting out. Uh, this sometimes helps gr get growth going faster in low nutrient water or new tanks. And they're on separate plugs, so you can actually operate them independently from a reef controller. So that's helpful. Uh, for those of you who have controllers and be using this in an automated way. Um, the air pumps that you see here, we've got uh, the uh, Fusion 700. These are high powered air pumps. Uh, they're capable of powering up to 15 different uh, regular ornaments or devices in, a, in like a freshwater tank if you were to use those. And it takes two of these to power the uh, Surf 4. And uh, you also, I picked these up from Santa Monica Filtration, so you can get those through them. Uh, also, high output pumps such as the Halea ACO 9720 from Pantair Aquatic Ecosystems uh, can power multiple Surf 4 units. So if you wanted to have multiple of these devices set up on your tank, you could get one of those even higher powered uh, high output air pumps. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's really compact, it's really well put together. Uh, I'm excited about getting this on the tank. It should be a really easy installation. So that's the next thing we'll do is we'll set this up and see how well it works once we get it on the tank. All right, guys. So here we are about to install the Surf 4. This is a pretty simple process. It's pick it up, set it in. see got plenty of bubbles going on here
Okay, so here we've got the S4 installed. All I did was to hook up the uh, air pumps, turn those on, and attach them to the S4, and then set it in the water. And you see, we've got plenty of plenty of air action going on in there. I just need to install the lights. Okay, so you can see here the lights. It's just a matter of putting them down on top. And I'm going to spin this around a little bit to minimize the shading area. And voila! Now you will want to be sure that when you get the Surf 4 that you have uh, plenty of surface area where it's not going to shade anything too much that you're concerned about. Here we go! Fully installed Surf 4. Already doing its job. Well, as you were able to see, it only took a few moments to get the Surf 4 installed and operational on this reef tank. Here you're able to see it up and running in the display. And as we're looking at the Surf 4 in the display, you can see that it doesn't take up an excessive amount of space in the display tank. Now, if you've got a smaller tank or you just don't like having things in your display, you can keep the Surf 4 in the, in the sump. Now the Surf 4 is up and running, I want to say that I'm extremely impressed with how quiet it is. I kind of expected with that many air bubbles moving through the unit that I might have to move it to the sump instead of keeping it on the surface. However, even though it's running both air pumps, once the lid is closed, the unit is almost completely silent. Here I'm standing just a few feet away from it, and I can't hear it at all. By the way, Santa Monica Filtration is able to ship their algae turf scrubbers worldwide. So if you're living outside the U.S. and would like one of these units, all you need to do is contact Santa Monica for a shipping quote because they're able to ship these to any country in the world. This concludes our review of the Surf 4. I'm impressed with the quality and design of the unit, and I'm excited about the amount of filtration it's going to provide for this reef tank. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it to be informative. Please check back for more video reviews from Reef Edition Magazine, and until next time, thanks for watching.